everyone. I'm Astrid Carlsen, the Executive Director of Wikimedia Norway, and I'm very happy to introduce Eva Maria Fjellheim to all of you. She is a Southern Sami and currently a PhD student at the Arctic University of Norway at the Center for Sami Studies. Eva Maria is one of the women behind making the podcast episode we are about to play for you. It is also her voice that you will hear in the podcast episode. Eva Maria will tell you the story about an old picture of her great grandmother, a picture her father found in his childhood home. The story of this picture will lead us through the history of the scientific Sami racism. Scientific racism is the pseudo scientific belief that empirical evidence exists to support or justify racism. The 1920s and the 1930s was a time period where scientific racism played a big importance in different parts of the world. During a couple of decades, the Sami population was phot photographed and described as dirty, less intelligent, and generally with bad genetics by scientists. This story is unfortunately only one example of many wrongdoings done by the governments in Norway and Sweden, and also other countries, towards the Sami population over hundreds of years. And we're hoping by playing this podcast episode, we will give the, you all, the participants at the Arctic Knot Conference, some insights in this difficult history. So with these words, welcome Eva Mamagia. Nice to have you here. And thank you so much for doing this an introduction video with us. And uh, I was thinking that maybe you can start off by telling a bit about this podcast and how it came to be and what your ideas were. Okay, yes, thank you so much for inviting me to this talk and introduction. Um, yeah, as, as they said, my name is Eva. Um, I form part of a radio collective called Sestrine Suse. Um, it consists of uh, me and, and three other women. Um, so the idea of this um, podcast uh, is this one episode you're going to listen to is part of a series, documentary series called In the Footsteps of Elsa Leula. Um, and this is actually kind of uh, the beginning of the story of this podcast uh, because Elsa Leula, she uh, is a pioneer um, women in the Sami history and also in Sami uh, politics and resistance movements um, in, in, in both Norway and Sweden. Um, she was the leader um, of a women's movement and she was one of the pioneers in the organization of the first Sami meeting uh, in, in the city of Tronte in 1917. So a hundred years later, it was a big celebration for this meeting and uh, we also celebrated uh, Elsa Leula and uh, we got inspired by Elsa Leula to make this podcast that is actually made by women and also about uh, women uh, and also we did it in collaboration with a, a feminist radio station called Radio Rakel. So that's kind of the background. Uh, we wanted to do um, a documentary series uh, interviewing only Sami women in different ages, from different geographies, um, doing yeah, from engaged in different kinds of, of issues in, in, in the Sami society. But what they have in common is that they have this kind of strong engagement. Um, they want to work for a, a, a better Sami future. So yeah, one of the uh, episodes that you're going to listen to now uh, is about um, the scientific racism. Uh, it has more like a historical focus, but also how this kind of, how this history has a repercussion uh, today as well. Um, and we made uh, three other episodes that are about, for example, the, the, the struggle for lands, 
um, the resistance to extractive industries such as mining, wind power, and hydropower, which um, has been kind of um, a very important struggle for the Sami, um, as uh, it's a struggle for many indigenous peoples uh, all over the world. And then we also did one about um, youth, Sami youth, uh, about their kind of in, um, engagement also in, in politics and also in, in art and music um, and to, to, to teach the Sami language. Um, so yeah, that was just to, to say a little bit about um, the whole documentary series, but um, yeah, that was kind of the idea to do, to, to use kind of, or to tell the, the history and, and the present struggles of the Sami uh, through the voices of Sami women. Thank you. This is um, very important and, and a good overview of the background for the for the podcasts and hopefully very helpful for the listeners uh, tonight. And um, in the podcast, you are sharing um, bits of your own family history. Is this uh, is this something you uh, did you have to think a lot about if you wanted to do this or not, or was it an easy choice? We we discussed many things in the process, um, and um, also about doing this topic. We 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 knew that we wanted to do it because um, it is really important, and I think it's also part of history that um, the general society is not so very, very knowledgeable about. Uh, and I think also in, in the Sami society that this is something that has been difficult to, to, to talk about and discuss and for obvious reasons. Um, and um, we, we just began and do, we did the interviews um, with the women who, who work on these issues um, and that was, of course, also a process that kind of um, stimulated uh, um, kind of reflections in, in, in regarding my own history and, and also this picture that um, is kind of the, the red, um, the thread through the, the story uh, in this episode. And we discussed it. I was, um, um, yeah, I, I was... Uh, I had to, to think about it a lot because it's, it becomes really personal. Uh, um, and then you have to kind of do that. Uh, you have to go into the, the material and you have to kind of let yourself um, um, reflect on the, the feelings also that this kind of stimulates. Uh, but I was really inspired by, by all the other women that we spoke to and, and I also found it really kind of natural to do to also include myself more in this um, in this episode because it would be really strange to to talk about it uh, as if uh, I wasn't part of it. Mm -hmm. So yes, but of course uh, we also discussed this this in that you can listen in the episode with one of the women that it, this story has this kind of double um, it generates kind of this dilemma, right? So it's really important for for us to kind of um, show that this has happened and it's important to document it and it's important to to let people know about this but at the same time it's kind of it's kind of um, a trauma as well to to the deeper you go you know you you have to deal with uh, with this and um, I think it's not an easy answer for it's not to say that everybody should do it or um, but um, it's yeah I, I feel it has been an important uh, process but I also Think that it's, it should be the decision of, of each individual how they want to kind of deal with their own kind of history and story and, and especially in this in this context but yeah it was definitely kind of a process also uh, for me to to be to or um, to end up where we ended with uh, with this episode but yeah it's it's been really also kind of inspiring to talk to to the other women and and I learned a lot um, about things that I I I I also didn't know. So mm. yeah. Yeah. 
And um, I know that that you and the rest of the, um, the collective behind the, um, the podcast, that you have been traveling to different parts of the world and, and doing this concept of a radio cinema, playing different uh, episodes, people listening in silence, and then I'm guessing sometimes have a discussion afterwards. So at, as my last question, I wanted to ask you if, if you could tell us anything about the reactions you had when you have played the podcast episodes and do you see any differences between reactions in Norway, for example, to other parts of the world? Yeah, this has actually been one of the greatest experiences uh, working with this um, because um, I think for us it was the process in itself that was the most important and not kind of the product. And uh, when we got this idea to kind of start to project or kind of do these kind of radio cin cinemas, uh, we understood that, of course, this is this is what we wanted to do. We didn't want to make something and just leave it out there in the internet or to be played in the radio and then it's kind of a finished project. No, we, we wanted this to be part of kind of a discussion and going conversation about these issues and um, we found this way a very kind of um, uh, um, fruitful way of, 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 of doing it um, and we have been projecting it in very very different kind of scenarios like from from uh, music festivals art festivals to um, bars uh, uh, we have done it from a prison um we have yeah we have been so many different places and it's really um nice to be invited uh, and that people like really want to to yeah to 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 host these kinds of events and and i think that we have found the most uh, engaging um uh presentations where we have been in more this kind of intimate spaces where people also um, feel more free to speak and um, we have mostly been showing this in Norway um, and I the reactions we have got is I think mm, that many are unaware um, they feel like this is something um, they should have known more about um, also kind of also generates feelings in, in, in those who are listening. Uh, maybe they have similar stories or, um, so there have been very kind of these moments of, of really strong uh, conversations and meetings between people. And when I have um, discussed this topic um, more in an international space, uh, Maybe there is less surprise, or it, sometimes it's a surprise, and in other times it's um, it's not, because especially when we are um, in spaces uh, and conversation with other indigenous peoples, and they they recognize this, and and they don't uh, think it is a strange or or very kind of surprising um, history, uh, but of course. Um, in other kind of uh, um, settings, uh, people maybe might have a different idea of, of Norway, like Norway as a country that does not have a colonial history, and they are surprised by this. And yeah, and we engage in an inter interesting conversation about that. Uh, mm. Yeah, I think it's a very it's a it's a nice ending to this introduction, and. Um, yeah, now we will play the, the podcast episode for everyone. Thank you so much, Eva, for, for joining. Thank you for having me. And I hope you enjoy. <laughs>